Hello and welcome to Data Science in Your Pocket. Today in this video, we'll uh, go through another interesting AI tool which is by Google that is Google Illuminate. It is an AI tool which converts long research papers into audio discussions or podcast or audio summaries or whatever you want to call it. In one of my recent videos, I uh, tested a very similar tool that is recast.ai and it was um, producing very good results and it was much more generalistic actually it was able to generate uh, audio summaries for any form of text but in this case uh, this illuminate by google is only able to generate audio discussions for research papers so we will uh, test it out and it has already uh, given some of these samples which you can see here uh, there's a sample for very famous paper uh, attention is all you need and then there are other ones as well so you can go through them but i'll test a new uh, paper which i've been going through recently and it's a dino v2 model uh, which is actually uh, a very interesting model and i've been using it for one of my um, one of my projects so we will try and generate an audio podcast for this research paper so let's go first you have to uh, click on this start generating if you get the access um, then you have to take the url and uh, you can give the url and uh, you can also search for a topic so i'll give the url here and maybe you can give multiple that's why the plus sign is here but for now we'll give only one and we'll add it here then you can give other urls as well but i'll give only one for testing purposes so let's generate and see what is the result so this might take few minutes let's see how much time it takes so our audio podcast or summary uh, is ready and let's play and check what is the quality and what kind of content it has been able to generate Today, we're diving into the world of self-supervised learning for computer vision. The paper Dynov2, Learning Robust Visual Features Without Supervision, presents a new approach to pre-training visual models without relying on labeled data. What are the key challenges in self-supervised learning for computer vision? The main challenge is to design pretext tasks that effectively capture the underlying structure of visual data without relying on explicit labels. So it has actually generated a kind of podcast where two people are interacting one of them is expert and the other one is kind of a host and uh, so yeah it's more of a podcast and then a summary uh, but i think more or less it's same until and unless it is able to uh, explain the paper in a very uh, accurate manner then i think uh, whether they are, are two voices or one voice that doesn't really matter um, so yeah, let's go ahead and see what is the quality. Traditional methods often struggle to scale to large data sets and model sizes, and their features may not generalize well to diverse downstream tasks. Dynov2 aims to address these limitations by introducing a more efficient and robust training approach. Can you elaborate on the technical innovations presented in Dynov2? Dynov2 builds upon existing discriminative self-supervised methods like Dino and iBot, combining their strengths and introducing several key improvements. One notable innovation is the use of a Synchorn knot. So it has been able to get into the technical uh, details and uh, it is uh, telling that what has been the backbone and what all techniques and innovation has been done in uh, Dino V2 model building. So that is something which is appreciable and uh, it is also very helpful for people who do not want to read research papers and uh, they want the audio content, I mean they consume audio content uh more than uh, text content so i think it's a very good tool for them so uh, let's go ahead and check some of the other things with which it has generated centering technique which helps stabilize training and improve feature quality they also introduce a coleo regularizer to encourage a uniform distribution of features which benefits tasks like instance retrieval the paper mentions a significant focus on scaling the training process what specific techniques were employed to achieve this Dynov2 leverages several techniques to accelerate and stabilize training at scale. They implemented a fast and memory efficient version of flash attention, which significantly reduces the computational cost of self-attention layers. So I think it has been able to generate 
uh, and cover most of the important content of the research paper which is uh, a very good thing and uh, i think uh, if they can expand this to um, other text formats i mean news and other um, text content then it would be very good right now it is only for research papers which is also good because uh, a lot of individuals want the audio conversion uh, and audio summary of research papers uh, so yeah it's a good tool very good tool it looks very promising as of now and uh, yeah i think if you uh, want audio versions of your research papers and if you are a lot into research papers then i think it's a good tool for you also one more thing is that it has generated around um, six to seven min minutes of content i don't know why is it is starting from 30 minutes and going till 36.54 minute but uh, the point is that it has been able to generate seven minutes of uh, podcast which is again a good um, good time uh, to uh, summarize a research paper so yeah i think uh, you sh you should also give it a try i think there will be a wait list initially but you will get the access in three to four days so yeah that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one